Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page two of Cottage Life, page two of Cottage Life. And so I'm going to um, do some layering on this page. So all of the interactive elements are actually gonna be on top of the base. And so for the base, I'm pulling back in the design paper that we have on page three. And as you can tell, I'm building it out of order. So I'm going to use this right here as a strip over on the right hand side. It's a two inch strip. And then the balance of the page is gonna be covered in this lovely design. And so that'll be, <coughs> excuse me, the base of um, page two. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this and we're gonna get this laid in. And then um, we're gonna build some of the interactive elements that go on top of that. <coughs> Hopefully my voice is gonna hold up long enough to get this video and a couple more done today. <clears throat> this paper is so pretty. So I'm as I'm building this, I'm thinking about mother, my mother, um, and Mother's Day, which is right around the corner. Today is Wednesday, I think Mother's Day is on Sunday. In fact, I'm sure it's on Sunday. So this is a, a really pretty collection for Mother's Day or a birthday. It also, um, depending on uh, which elements you use, probably not so much this one, but some of the other pinks and blues are um, can be used more along the lines of a, of a baby album or a little girl album. So again, I probably wouldn't use this side, but this side goes lovely, right? Could be any age. <clears throat> Again, we're on page two. Okay, now I uh, need to trim this down just to fit because it is going to be a color block. <clears throat> and it looks like it needs to be, where's my pencil? Here it is. <clears throat> my goodness. I might have to adjust this. It looks like it's a little crooked, so I might have to <clears throat> trim this one more time. <laughs> but let's take a look at it. Yeah, that actually looks a lot straighter than I thought. So I'm going to, this side looks pretty straight to me. It's off a little, but not much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim on this side. <clears throat> okay, that should do it. And because I trim both sides, I need to ink both sides. Now, see how it's a little narrower here than it is up here? Actually, it's not. I had to. I had to straighten it out. Okay, it looks good. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite techniques: is color blocking. It adds so much visual complexity without, you know, making the book complex at all. I love layering. It uh, creates a sense of depth as well. So that's going to be the base of two. So I'm going to um, do a trifold <clears throat> and then a bifold. So the first thing we're going to do is the trifold, and this is eight and a quarter by six and one eighth. Eight and a quarter by six and one eighth. You're going to score right here at four and one eighth. And so now we have a card, and then we're going to attach a four and a half by six and one eighth by six and one eighth, yes. So four and a half by six and one eighth. It's gonna be a one eighth inch narrower than this one so that the trifold will close um, all together. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> My allergies are killing me. <laughs> so we are going to attach this so that we have this um, 
full length trifold. <clears throat> Good night. <clears throat> and you can attach this hinge underneath or on top. It's really whatever you prefer. I'm going to do it on top. <clears throat> That's just kind of what I'm used to. And it's going to get covered with designer paper, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> And I'm just lining it up. So again, we have, <clears throat> at the end of the day, we have a trifold. Now my goal is to make sure that um, I can close this inside. So I'm actually gonna push it up and close it, make sure it's lining up top to bottom, and then push it into place. And there we go, we've got our trifold. Okay, there we go. And then if you've got anything hanging over, just go ahead and turn it off, which I'm gonna do real quick. <clears throat> There we go. Now, if you have, the problem is, if even if you had 12 inch paper, this winds up being um, a little bit over that. But if you had 12 inch wide paper, you would do, uh, instead of four and one eighth, you would do four, uh, do this in half four, and then this would be just slightly under four, like three and seven eighths. Now, I did this based on the fact that I was gonna have to piece it together no matter what, and I didn't really wanna trim my ephemera card. So that is where my sizes came from. But again, if you have 12 by 12, do um, do six and then uh, fold it into, uh, do a score line at four and then do your um, last score line so that the last third folds over and fits inside. So it's gonna need to be a little bit shorter than the first score line. <clears throat> it doesn't need to be an eighth of an inch, even a sixteenth is probably all you need. <clears throat> there we go. Let's pull page two back in. So I don't need to put anything on the back because it's gonna go down. And then this is gonna open up like so. <clears throat> So now I want to do a bifold and it's going to lay over here. <clears throat> wow, I'm so sorry with all the clearing. So it's going to be six and one eight, same thing. It's actually about six and one sixteen. And um, we are going to split it, uh, do it. I'm going to do this one nice and clean at four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it for, this is eight, eight and a half inches across, I'm going <clears> to <throat> burnish my score line and then I'm going to trim, collectively trim this at four in the trimmer so that the edges are super clean. Okay, now this one is going to get installed this way so that they can overlap. like so. Actually, is that what I want? Yeah, it is, okay. So this is what's gonna hold everything in place. I gotta make sure that's all gonna function the way I want it to. This is gonna open, then this'll open, and then this'll open. So there you go. So that's what it's gonna look like. Now, before I go much further, I wanna um, think about, that's gonna close. This is gonna close. Through. Okay, so my magnets are gonna be on these two. So, it's gonna be pretty straightforward to add this one. Now, I think this is about where I wanna put it. I want it a little high, cause this one's gonna come a little low. Okay, I'm just using my grid to get my line. So that's in. <clears throat> I 
Oops, I did that wrong. This has to go in first. This has to go under. Oh, I'm gonna use my spatula to lift this. Real quick, there we go. And this is gonna slide underneath there. My brain's not working, guys, sorry. myself much room for a magnet. Let's see, can I do it? We shall see. It's very tight, but I think I can do it. So the way to solve that is just to push these two closer together so you don't have to work so hard. Um, the other thing is, <laughs> this is a little bit of a cheat, but um, sometimes I break my magnets, so that's another way to do it is do a smaller magnet so you don't have to um, go as far over the edge. So, <clears throat> and I'm sure everybody does this occasionally, so I've got a couple that are about half and half, so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half a magnet here and half a magnet here. It doesn't have to hold very much in place since there's not going to be a whole lot of layers between the two. Hopefully this is going to hold, but I am going to test it. Okay, so there's going to be paper here and paper here. So I'm going to put two layers of paper, make sure it's still going to adhere. And it does, so I think we're fine. So now it's time to decorate. So don't throw away your broken magnets. <clears throat> Let's see, I probably want to figure out what I want to do here first. I'm going to pull in page two because I want it to work with page two. There we go. An awful lot of pink. What do you guys think? Pink, think. I don't know. That's a lot. But I don't want to pull in another pink pattern. So this this would work too. Let's see if I've got some more of this. <clears throat> Yeah, I think this is the answer.
definitely going to embellish that. <clears throat> and then we can still slide our paper under here, and I'm going to glue that down after we decorate this, which I think I'm going to do in the solid. Patterns and solids, patterns and solids, patterns and solids. 12 by 12. definitely going to want to pull that pattern back in over here or here, one of the two. hard to give up this beautiful print so I gotta think about that a little bit I do think I like the middle and then oh the other thing is I was gonna use the back side of this journal card um, for journaling so there it is so there's where do I want that so I'm thinking about it's in the book and you're gonna write some you're gonna journal this is the um, the book. This is going to be hanging off the book, so it's going to be very hard to journal anything outside this line. So the journaling card should go here or here. Um, and I think I'm going to put it in the center. <coughs> yep. So that's something to consider when you're... If it's not um, something you can pull out of the book and write on, is it on a spot? that's not flapping, um, that has a backing on it. Normally I do these in cards that you can pull out and fill out. So, but this is another solution is making sure it's within the bounds of the base page. <coughs> Excuse 
me. This needs to be a little bit narrower. <clears throat> Now I need two more, two more papers. Remember, this one is slightly larger than this one, just so this they can fold over each other. did with my, um, ooh, that's the other option. I didn't think about that. I kind of like the solids. They make for nice photo mounts. Can't find my hook tool. There it is. Okay, what do you guys think? This or this? I'm gonna go solid. Especially because this is so light. I think it makes very nice contrast. This is the conclusion of page. Actually, it's not. I'm going to come back. I'm going to take a break because I need one. My head's not working. Um, I'm going to come back. I think that looks really pretty. And we are going to add a little bit more bling here. It's it's holding. Um, it's just a little bit uh, more bubbled because there's more papers in general. But it is holding. I think I'll burn. Oh, I still need to glue that down. That's part of it. <laughs> so I'm going to put a bead of glue under here. This could, you could have glued these three sides and made this a tuck spot as well, which would, wouldn't have been a bad idea. I just thought of it right now. So this will help it lay down as well once it's all glued into place. Okay, back right side up. <clears throat> So I'll probably um, put some bling bling here. If nothing else, um, maybe like some uh, a flag or something like that. I don't know, I'll find something. Uh, this is a little too simple. And then this is page two. I wanna do something on this side too. So I'll come back to these um, before I wrap up page two. We'll add uh, something to page three and two so that it's more cohesive. I'll be back in a little while. <clears throat> 